Greetings world citizens. We are anonymous. Today, we bring to you what we consider an important and very powerful message of opportunity toward the collective effort of affecting true change upon our world. An occasion available to those individuals who would choose to be guided. In our continued efforts to help advance such great changes, we must once and for all begin the work to expose and dismantle the power structure built up around the advancement and protection of the global elite from its roots. We do this by as they say, following the money trail. However for this particular operation we intend to follow that trail well beyond the corrupt realtors, politicians, greedy stock traders of Wall Street, and even beyond the world's bankers. All the way up the chain to the very top weather, we will find what can most accurately can be described as political Zionism. This goal is achieved through advancing the progression of freedom, liberation, and independence for the people of Palestine. We want to be clear, we well understand that initially, some might question this anonymous collective's effort and our involvement into this region's complex and long-standing situation. We do not in any way wish to diminish nor condone actions of the past which have led to the perpetual bloodshed and loss of life of human beings, civilians, children, and all innocent persons alike. But that time has come. It is now essential we begin the processes of objectively exposing the true wolf in sheep's clothing. The history of this region's more modern power struggles are actually not nearly as difficult to understand as most in the West, especially within the United States have been led to believe. The truth is, most of the information which has been provided through its mainstream media and primary informational sources have not been even slightly balanced, nor have they most often been at all factual. Since 1896 with the creation of Theodor Herzl's Zionist movement described in his writing on the Jewish state, the colonialist plan of the removal of the native population began. A population which had been a Muslim majority since the 15th century, suffered the gradual displacement and secular division between the Zionists, against the Jews, Arabs, and Christians, who already had been living at peace in the region. After World War II with the UN's creation of Israel in 1947, the imperialist vision of the Zionist idea was fully realized. And so was the growth of a fascist ethnic religious state. And with what can most accurately be described as genocide, involving the eradication of thousands of local natives, through the means of ethnic cleansing and expulsion of all inhabitants of non-Jewish descent. This included forced mass exodus, village massacres, of both Christians and Muslims, as they were ruthlessly raped, tortured, and killed. Over the years, the occupation of Palestinian land and eradication of its people has maximized. Israel's ceaseless attempts to destabilize Palestine with an offensive assault while allowing, and itself establishing illegal settlements well beyond its original border. Committing such criminal act of terror, is compounded by the Israeli government's continued refusal to seek any sort of just, or fair resolution. Choosing instead an obstinate course of negotiations that stubbornly seek unreasonable demands directed toward claiming more land, and less political representation for the Palestinians. Although, Israel continually attempts to describe this, as a democracy. Those who speak out against this blatant fascism, even from those within the Jewish community itself, are routinely silenced, discredited, and even assassinated. As the true role, meaning, and purpose of Zionism has been, and continues to be, a bitterly debated issue even within the Israeli community itself. Despite the ever-strengthening global condemnation of Israel's continued aggression, succeeding in only further isolating Israel, as well as its Western allies, this systematic devaluing of human life has only become worse. As the most recent reports have shown, the expansion of settlement activity is growing, exponentially, since the Trump administration's seizure of office. Within the Gaza Strip alone it has been recently stated in data compiled by the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, 
that 4,600 families are living homeless. 85% of the families are dependent upon aid provided by international non-governmental organizations. And 95% of the groundwater is undrinkable. The electricity still being controlled by Israel has outages of sometimes 16 hours per day. It is estimated that there are now approximately 20,000 oftens living within the Gaza Strip alone, while some 7 million refugees from Palestine now exist around the globe. Along with the increasing settlements, the Israeli government has reportedly not prevented and most likely allowed, such things as the spraying of herbicides from planes over Gaza. The poisoning and destruction of the limited water and food supplies, and with virtually no condemnation, allowed such extremist right-wing terrorist acts toward the Palestinian citizens to include such atrocities as what are being referred to as price tag killings. This is hardly the beginning of the full story, as life under the imprisonment and illegal occupation of those who would hate you, is a daily struggle under this brutal and oppressive regime. For far too long, with the use of exclusive connections to the global world banking systems and covert manipulations through the West and its power structures, the Zionist regime has gained almost complete control of the United States press and media, as well as its educational standards development. More importantly, is the power it has gained within the legislative and political structure, through such influential organizations as the APAC lobbyist group and its vast number and varieties of financial ties. It was only just recently did we learn of the American Jewish teenager who had made over a hundred bomb threats to Jewish community centers around the world. Was it just a coincidence, that they occurred about the same time as there was growing compassion for the Islamic community in America? While issues of immigrant deportation and religious travel bans were becoming more recognizable? Now, in our collective effort to accomplish this goal, we want to explain in as much detail as necessary, just exactly how you can join us and help in the operation. First and foremost, become informed and educated on this many-layered issue. Only this way, can you be prepared for disagreement as what is often undoubtedly a heated but necessary discussion as in turn you will be more able to inform and educate those without any understanding the reality of the situation and the great importance of liberating Palestine from its brutal oppression. Second, boycott, divest and sanction. At a time where corporate greed dictates the law of the land, learn where your money actually goes. Corporations such as Starbucks, McDonald's, Coca-Cola, and Nestle, are among many investors of the further settlement of territories within the West Bank, as are so many of the political leaders. Third, help us force the United States to retract its promise of $38 billion sent to Israel, of the American taxpayers' money. Fourth, help locate and expose the manipulative influences of Zion around the planet, especially its influence upon the Western culture, media, government, and variety of its indoctrinating systems. And lastly, petition, protest, speak out, pressure the elected officials, and as always, utilize your personal set of skills and imaginative ideas. We encourage the use of every means necessary to achieve our goal short of physical violence, as it is faithfully understood that the key to peace is resistance, not violence. In closing, we would like to address the anonymous collective directly. Break through the sorrow and exhausted passion. Drive out your second wind. Discouragement and division can only be dealt with by escaping one's own ego. As is the way of the collective idea, we are not directing any specific action or directive, as we are merely capable of hopefully inspiring the individual to act in whatever means they feel necessary as to being the most effective. As our collective idea has always relied entirely upon that independent inspiration, we are but merely hoping to strike the match of your inspiration, to reactivate your passions to effect change to expose and to ultimately dismantle the colonialist empire at its source.
we ask you to remember just what drew you toward Anonymous to begin with. The time to shatter the illusions of powerlessness and fear and to seize our chance to create the world anew has come. Finally, we would like to quickly take a moment to make a direct message to the people of Palestine. Your voices are being heard. The truth is being seen. Hold on to your courage, strength, and faith. Seek strength in your unity. Together we will expose the wolf in sheep's clothing. In honor and in unyielding service to the imprisoned and fallen of the resistance, we do not forgive. We do not forget. United by one. Divided by none. Expect us. Operation Justice for Palestine. Is now engaged.